Hello and welcome back to No Context Britain 9, I think. I think, I think we're on the ninth episode of this. I had a lot of people on the last episode saying, George, why, why have you made eight episodes of this? Don't you think it's, it's time to stop? No! Britain will never cease to amaze any of us. So these are gonna, these are gonna keep going as, for as long as they get views. Like and subscribe if you're new for the Queen. Do it for her. Do it for Lizzie. Bring back TV Burp. Yes! I've been saying this for so long. TV is dying. Harry Hill can revive it. That was such a good TV show. I can't remember any like TV show that I look forward to more. Maybe like Waterloo. I liked Waterloo Road. I thought Waterloo Road was sick back in the day. But other than that, I've, I've never had an affinity for a TV show quite like I have for TV Burp. He's in a huff because I asked why he's dressed like a train seat. That is, I mean, why, why would you, why would you talk to a stranger on the train? Well, that's not very British of you. If you remember these, you're officially, oh, they only retired them. Like, I mean, I, I don't know when the last time I went into an Argos was. It was probably like, maybe like six years ago. I, I just don't leave the house anymore. But they're not that old. You're not old. You're not old. I'm 23. I'm not old. Not old. Brand new, never worn engagement ring. Girlfriend fell off cliff and died on impact. Very nice ring. I'll, I, I, will, I will take it. I like the story behind it too. I, lo I love her item with a, a, a good bit of history. Anyone know this man? He entered my garden and helped himself to my fungi. He was unrepentant when I spoke to him. He looks like he look like a, a, he look he looks like a fun guy. Ah. <laughs> uh. Why are you vexed about him taking your, your fun guy? Let him have it. I don't, I don't know why... He, he doesn't look like he's uh, planning on doing any good with it. It looks quite quite menacing, in fact. He, he I, I think he might uh, be brewing a, a evil potion of some kind. But just let him have it. Just let him have it. <coughs> you are fucking stupid. Why would... Why? I, I, I can't help but feel as though that's set up. It's staged. That video's staged. I'm calling it. No one would fucking fire a golf ball towards their house. Even if there's a net there. No one, no one's stupid enough to do it. It's staged. It's fake. And also to film it as well. What are you filming? You hitting a golf ball into a net that's like five, not even five feet. You're standing in the net. Staged. Staged. It's fake. Is anyone else with me in the replies? I can't see anyone that's with me on this one. I'm the, I'm the only one that sees the truth. <laughs> Where are you from like? That's a good chat up line. Where are you from like? It's not, it's not even, I, know, I hate to be that guy, but it's just, it's just, it's not even correct grammar. Where are you from like? What's that, what's that fucking mean? Where are you from like what? Sunderland. Ah, oh, never mind, Kit. I like the, I like the kiss at the end there. But fair enough, nothing, nothing good ever comes from Sunderland. Warning as life expectancy in Hull is at its lowest. Calling all Big Mac fans, double Big Mac. If you are someone that has ordered the double Big Mac or the double quarter pounder, I don't know why they call it a double quarter pounder. It's a half pounder from McDonald's. You are a fucking gremlin. McDonald's meat is the most rank thing on this earth. It's only redeemed by the sauce in which it is uh, encased in the burger with and the saltiness. That's all. That's all. I once tried the, um, the, the, the double quarter pounder or half pounder and it was probably the best worst thing I've ever fucking eaten in my life. I, I've never tried the double Big Mac nor do I intend on. It is a foul creation and if I saw someone order a double Big Mac in a McDonald's I would chin them. Matthew Horn says it's hard promoting the Nan movie in mid-Ukraine war. I'd say it's, it'd be pretty challenging to, to promote it anyway considering it is the Catherine Tate Nan movie that is about 15 years late. I don't know why they decided to make that movie full stop let alone like 10 to 15 years after the whole show is relevant. Who fucking thought making <laughs> that movie would be a good idea? Has anyone asked him who the fuck wanted that film to be made? <laughs> and so I replied with, I don't know, I'll probably see it. I like the actors. I think I would genuinely be too embarrassed to walk into the cinema and ask for a ticket to the Nan movie. It's like, it's, I'd say it's, it's, wor it's a worse idea than the Harry Hill movie. Like, the ha I mean, no one asked for the Harry Hill movie and it was a fucking stupid idea. I'm gonna see what it box office that. I can't, I can't imagine it turned a profit. I love Harry Hill to bits, as I, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, TV burp, legendary. But, um, fuck it, why did they, why, why was there a need to make a movie? All right, it made 4.1 million, it only had a 2 million budget, and it box office 4.1 million. So, I mean, it doubled its money, but it wasn't exactly like a blockbuster movie. It's 3.8 on IMDb, yeah, I, I can't imagine it was great. It's, there was also a fucking, um, Mrs. Brown's Boys movie? Mrs. Brown's Boys is fucking awful to begin with. I don't know, I don't know who the fuck would go to see a movie about it. What did that box office have? That box office 28 million. Who the fuck went to see that? Oh. I mean, he's just having a great time while waiting for the bus. I don't, I don't understand why he's, why, why someone's laughing at him. He just, 
He's just waiting for the bus. Ha ha ha. Yes, yes. I am. I am. I too am laughing at uh, drivers at the moment. Ha 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 ha. As someone that can't legally drive, I can drive, but I'm not legally allowed to because I haven't passed my test. I I'm, la I'm laughing at drivers because they have to pay like their life savings for oil now. And good, I say. I'm still salty at the fact I didn't pass my driving test twice. <laughs> Reporter Gary Maguire for pretending to be a footballer. I have no idea how that man blags a professional contract, let alone an 80 million pound transfer. Fee. It's boggling. It's absolutely boggling. You wouldn't eat an entire pack of crusted cream. I've done it before and it wasn't really a good idea. I just felt sick for like a day. Niall, I ride a wheelchair all day, but I will ride you all night. Go on, Niall, get the badge in. <laughs> Paris in Preston. I mean, both are shit, so I mean, there's not, there's not much difference. Fish and chips with coffee or tea. A pie meal deal. Giant English breakfast. Yes, very French. The Greg's crepe. Hang on. Is that, I, I look. I think I had looked this up in the last No Context Bridge video. That the, the uh, there was like Greg socks. Are these are probably another Primark thing. Oh, of course they are. What the fuck is this? I haven't seen the whole range. There's a Greg's hoodie. I could buy a Greg's hoodie. I tell you what, I would buy the hoodie if it didn't have the thing on the arm. If it was just like the Greg's logo on a hoodie, like a Supreme Box logo, I'd buy that. That's sick. Hang on, I need to see this whole range. I need to see this whole range without like, these pictures are bad. I can't. I can't. What is that? I can't fucking see that. I want to see the whole range. I think they're real. I think. They are, they are real. Of course they're real. British cuisine, best in the world. Right, let's have a look. Baby bells are pretty trash, I'm not gonna lie. It's just like eating a block of cheese. Who the fuck eats a block of cheese? I like cheese string. Cheese string is my is my favorite type of cheese. Party rings, party rings aren't good. I'm sorry, they're not good. Fingers are nice. I, I shouldn't say that. That'll be taken out of context. Chocolate fingers are nice. Crisps, I, depends on the flavor. Are those skips? Yeah, skip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baked beans, no. Horrendous. Uh, spaghetti shaped. Mwah. Mwah. Like, you know the shit where you used to be able to get them in as, like, a uh, famous movie? I think they still do, like, Shrek ones. Yeah, oh, they, 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 those were elite. I think I bought some Peppa Pig ones not long ago, and they were, they were mwah. Onion rings, ugh. Smiley faces, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. Overrated, they're too dry. They're good, chicken dippers. All right, nuggets, good, solid. Nuggets are solid. Turkey dinosaurs, nice, nice. Those waffles, nah, 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 again, too dry. Police, unacceptable behavior team. That's, like, the least threatening police officer ever. They look like they're just gonna ask you nicely to stop doing so, and they probably are. It's like one of those police officers you get at, like parks and stuff that, that tell off like teenagers for being rowdy and end up getting bullied by them. You're bored. British pub drinkers say if Vladimir Putin walked in, they'd wreck him. Regulars at the Staffordshire Public House say if the Moscow leader ever came in for a pint, they would wreck him, according to the landlady. Well, I mean, I heard from a good source Vladimir Putin was planning on going there, but I, I, I don't think he will be anymore. I think he might just call off the invasion because of this. Princess Diana stands like the weirdest fucking people on earth. So Martin, this is, oh, this is a Martin. Martin, this is a bloke. When our princess passed away, I wrote a poem in primary school. It's been on my, it's been on my bed set ever since. I thought I'd share. Why are you cry? Because of Lady Die. What happened? <laughs> lady Die. Oh no, I'm sad. My dripping eyes, Lady Die, Lady Die. Oh, Die would have loved that. If a nuclear bomb is dropped on your city, here's where you should run and hide. <laughs> Will my local branch of Greg survive a nuclear war? Ask worried Britons. That is the big question. A Greg's opened up near me recently and it has been a it has been a godsend. It's so cheap. Like, it's so, I don't know how it's so cheap. Because previously, the nearest sandwich shop to me has been a Pret, and Pret is just like shit. It's like you pay five quid for the most bland sandwich you've ever tasted in your life. Whereas in Greg's, you can walk in, get some like chicken thing, get like some a sausage roll and, and something else. And it's like a fiver. It's so good. So yes, if nuclear war broke out, I would be concerned if Greg's would shut down. 7 a.m., who cares? I mean, I, this is like one of those like r slash mad lad things. But it's like, he is, he is a bit of a mad lad. 7 a.m. and on the booze. Fuck me, you're, you're aching for some midday depression. I don't understand how people can day drink. It just makes me sad. Like, I, I, I have a rule of not drinking before, like, I guess, I guess, like, seven or eight. Otherwise, you just get depressed. It's just, it's just, it's just shit. The <laughs> British public wrong about nearly everything survey shows. I don't think so. I don't think that survey's correct. British people are some of the smartest people I've ever met. British mother reveals how she left her partner of 29 years and lost 80 grand to a catfish con artist on Facebook who made her feel loved using photos of Latvia Silver Fox Defence Minister. I mean, that's a very obscure, like, uh, I guess, celebrity <laughs> to catfish someone using. But, yep, I guess deserved. Deserved. Actually, is that mean to say? Is that mean to say? She left her partner of 29 years for a uh, random on Facebook that she didn't even know existed. Did she not bother to, like, FaceTime him? Or, or, or like, just or verify that he's legit? And how did she lose 80 grand? What did she do? <laughs> Why did she send him 80 grand before even, like, FaceTiming him? That's insane. Dad 50 going to Ukraine to fight because he's not doing much. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough if you're 
you're not up to much, might as well use your time well. Golf putter, £25. Hi, is this still for sale? Hi, yes, I still have it. Are you interested? Yes, mate, where can you meet me? I'm in East Kilbride. If you come and pick it up, you can have it for £20. I've been offered £20 already, but you message first. Let me know either way. Cheers. All right, mate. Oh, God, this is the worst written message I've ever seen. All right, mate, I'm going to meet some geezer for a new putter. Want to come with me? I will just do him in and take it off him, lol. Shit, that was meant for my pal, but it's not about you. Where do you live? <laughs> to break? To be fair, cyclists are some of the most stubborn fuckers on the planet. So it doesn't surprise me neither of them braked or turned. Stories of the day is cheese racist. Fucking hell, it is a lively news day. Spread straight from the fridge. I mean, you're just shit at spreading butter if that happens. Like, what, are you, are you a fucking infant? How do, how do you not know how to spread butter? Spread butter? Spread butter on bread. Mum threatened with social services because she has huge eyebrows. <laughs> what the fuck? Good. Yeah, no, that is, uh, if you make decisions like that you're not fit to care for a child i'm sorry but you're not you're not that's a that's an awful decision horrible moment northern i don't i don't know why that's in um uh, quotes man throttled seagull for over a minute after it grabbed his donut i mean fair enough hey wait is there a video If that's the video, now he just whacked it, which is fair enough. I don't think that is the video. That doesn't that doesn't look like... No, he's not holding a donut there. I don't think that's the right video. Compare the market pulls meerkat ads from TV news after Ukraine invasion. Site says fictional Russian billionaire Alexander Orlov has no association with the current situation. Well, thank you for clearing that up. I thought he uh, was playing a key role in the invasion. But that's, that, oh, that, that headline's just not true. I saw an ad for that today. And honestly, I was disgusted. Can't believe it. They're still airing the, the Russian meerkat ads. I was, I was fuming. <laughs> Oh yes, banging song in the background of this. Old rage. Wait. Oh, wait, is this? I, I thought someone had edited the song. Is this man just sat in his car <laughs> listening to MC Mental? As this man is sat in his car unironically listening to MC Mental. I don't even care what happened in the video. There's a man sat in his car listening to MC Mental. So no, the No Context Brits account has decided to quote tweet uh, a Pop-Tarts tweet saying, I like my tarts where I like my money, right in my fanny. <sighs> right, good. <laughs> Whoever did this to the... What? Whoever did this to the... To this... All right. Fuck it, this is an awfully written post. Whoever did this to the to this idiot's noisy little car that likes to sit there revving his engine at all hours, you my friend are a legend. Well done. Well done. Cars with loud exhausts are are shit. If you're I, I can guarantee someone that has like a car with a loud exhaust is watching this right now. Uh, stop it. No one likes you when you have a small cock. Minuscule even. <laughs> Nan sorting me out. That is that is fucking cursed. But you know what? I, I said I don't like baked beans, but I feel as though I make an exception for beans with the little sausages. Actually, no, I prefer the, the spaghetti with the little sausages. That's great. They're probably not real meat. I don't know what exactly they are. They're probably just like ground down organs or something. But they're banging nonetheless. <laughs> don't go out tomorrow. Why? It's windy. Thank you, Paul. Why on earth? Why would they do that? How would they think that's a good idea? Uh, it's their own fault, really, isn't it? Like, you're not going to be able to claim insurance on that. That's your own doing. You basically just drove into a river. Yeah, fucking bell end. Bacon, eggs, and beans by Carol. I mean, that looks fucking awful. I'm not a fan of uh, eggs or beans. But they don't, I mean, they don't look great. Carol, do you put it on a plate with, <laughs> did you put it on a plate with a fucking catapult? If this was the last supper, Jesus Christ would have betrayed himself. Carol, how the fuck you're not dead is beyond me. I've just got over the shits from looking at your last plate. What did you cook that in, Carol? The fucking tumble dryer. Looks like Carol made a perfectly good breakfast, then just punched the fuck out of it for no reason. That bacon looks. That, that bacon isn't cooked, Carol. You're gonna get. You're gonna get food poisoning. No one. The doctor's waiting room. That was. That was an elite time waste. You just see how fast you can get around the thing. It's brilliant. I want one. The biggest lie of all time. Yeah. You. You always just have to get a knife out and like cut around the bit of plastic. It's a lie. It's a lie. I don't think one of those has ever worked. Ever in history. Right, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe if you're new. Merch link is in the description, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye.